guys, this is Slaken, and it is 2015, so I thought I'd show you the newest and the easiest way to get Ubuntu on your Chromebooks, all Chromebooks, works for every single one of them, no questions asked, because I always get a lot of comments saying, does it work for this one, does it work for this one, there's so many of them out now, different brands, so I want to make it clear that it works for every single Chromebook, this is the easiest way, Ubuntu, newest Ubuntu, 14.04, here it is. So the first thing you got to do is switch your Chromebook over into developer mode, and I'll show you that right now. So to put your Chromebook in developer mode, it starts by going to your keyboard and pressing escape, power button, and F3 all at the same time, three button combination. Press that, blue light's going to come on, if you look at your screen. going to say Chrome OS is missing or damaged. Please insert recover USB stick. You just press control D. And then it's going to say to turn off OS verification. Please enter. Please press enter. Then you're going to press enter. It may take a while because it is transitioning into developer mode. So there it goes. After pressing enter, you're going to prompt it with another screen. So here it is. OS verification is off. Press control D to bypass the screen. And then now it's turning into developer mode. So it says your system is transitioning to developer mode. Local data has been cleared. Modifi modifications you make to the system are not supported by Google, may cause hardware issues, and may void warranty. To cancel, turn your computer off now. You got 15 seconds to turn off your computer if you don't want this to happen. So what this does is it completely clears everything and it turns it into a developer mode console. And in some instances, it does not void your warranty at all. Your warranty will be voided if you unscrew a, a screw that's covered by a sticker. And that sticker is your warranty sticker. It says void on it. If you take that off, yes, your warranty can be voided. But to get around that, take a blow dryer, blow it on the sticker, remove it safely so it's not damaged. Put it to the side, open your computer up, put in some new hardware upgrades, whatever you got to do. Put the sticker back on and it'll all be good. So that's how you put your Chromebook into developer mode. So after you switch your Chromebook into developer mode, what you're going to do is you're going to open a new tab and you're going to type in Crouton Chromebook. Enter. Just type it in Google search. I spelled Crouton wrong. Sorry about that. So search Crouton and it's going to be this HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash github dot com. And it's going to be the first link up here. All you're going to do is click on it. And it's going to download right here. It says Crouton. Then you're going to press Control-Alt-T. Control-Alt-T. Open up your terminal. And the way you tell if your Chromebook is in developer mode, you're going to type in Shell, S-H-E-L-L. -L, press Enter. Then if you get access to Chronos at localhost, you are in developer mode. So the first thing you want to do is type in sudo S-H-E. Downloads with a capital D. Downloads and then Crouton. So what you're doing with this command right here, you're telling sudo, your Chromebook, to go to your downloads, files, and then access Crouton. So if I open up my files, you see I'm under downloads and it's going to tell it to access my Crouton file. So, then you're going to tell it to go um, the terminal as, we're going to use U, U, Unity, Unity, sorry. Unity is the best um, desktop environment from Ubuntu 14.04. It works the best. You should run with no problems. Everything should be good. So with this command right here, 
you're telling your Chromebook to access your downloads file, Crouton, to run Unity using Trusty is what we're going to use, which is the best one to use. I'm only giving you the best information here, guys. You always want to run now, as of 2015, Unity and Trusty at the same time. So all you're going to do is run that command, press and what is this? You trust you to uh... Alright, so press the arrow key up. Let's see what I did. Let's see what's going on here. Hmm. Oh, I spelled downloads wrong. Wow. You guys are probably like, no, you spelled downloads wrong. Then enter. There we go. So that's, this is the command you want right here. Sorry, I'm so sorry about that. So here's the command you want right here. I'll put all the commands in the description so you guys know exactly what to do. I'll put every everything I can do to help you guys install this so there's no questions asked. Everything's good. As of 2015, the best way to download Ubuntu 14.04. All you got to do now is wait for this to download and install all of its packages. Depending on your internet time, my internet, I got Comcast, Xfinity, um, whatever it's called, 100 megabytes, download and upload. So I'm looking at 5 to 15 minutes. So... After you, this downloads and everything, you are accepting to run Unity Environment Desktop on your Chromebook, and I'll show you how to run it after this finishes. So after you install and download Ubuntu, you're going to be prompted with this. It says, please specify a username for the primary user, so I'm going to put Slake in. Zero, 00 enter now it's going to ask for your new unix password and i'm typing it right now but it doesn't actually pop up but once you type it is taken into consideration your password so i know you don't see it there but you actually do type in a password now it says to start unity and to launch ubuntu you're going to use this command so there it is sudo start unity that's the command you want and that takes you and launches unity so there it is guys that's how you install ubuntu on a chromebook as of 2015 14.04 the newest version of ubuntu thank you guys for watching and that's it